13-year-old Minara is getting some reading done first thing in the morning. Minara lives in a remote fishing village in coastal Bangladesh. After reading, Minara finishes her morning chores and feeds her little brothers while her parents are out at work. Islam, age 14, lives in Kurigram, northern Bangladesh. Every morning, Islam and Minara leave their homes at around the same time. After her morning chores, Minara walks for 3 kilometers to go to the nearest local school in the next village. Islam cycles 5 kilometers away where he goes to work. Islam is among the 10 million working children in Bangladesh. Working children contribute to around 30% of their family's income. When I was studying in school, my father came down with an illness. We owned a bit of land, which we sold to pay for his treatment. This left us with nothing to eat. I've been working since I was very young. It's been seven to eight years that I've been working here. We have many mouths to feed and little to eat in the family. That is why I work. If I don't work, we will not be able to pay rent. Children are completely deprived of their rights. They are deprived of education and access to health services. They are robbed of their very childhood. Supported by the European Commission, Save the Children UK launched its Poverty and Working Children project to help facilitate better conditions for working children, provide them with access to education, recreation and basic health care facilities. In context, I'm like that. We are implementing this project in three areas, rural areas of Kurigram in northern Bangladesh, urban areas of Dhaka municipality, and rural areas of Kulna in the coastal area. In the beginning, we weren't even allowed to enter the factories. Factory owners were not aware that there are laws for protecting children's rights. Before the project started, children were often paid very little. Some were not paid at all. Many of them would often be abused. We couldn't discourage the children from working, neither the parents from sending their children to work. The parents would ask, will you provide us financial support instead? So we went to the owners and told them, if you are employing children, then at least try to keep them away from hazards and give them some free time during the day. We will arrange for their education and recreation. One of the key successes of the project was the implementation of an employer's code of conduct that would allow these children some time off from work to come and spend in the learning come recreational centers run by Save the Children UK and its partner NGOs Prodipon and RDRS. Child participation is fundamental to save the children's work. It is important to know the opinions of those we are working with. Hence, we had consultations with children for about six to seven months to learn about their needs. Children did not say that they did not want to work. What they wanted was an opportunity for education and recreation during their daily break from work. We have opened these learning come recreational centers very close to the workplaces so that children can come over in five to ten minutes. During the time that they get to stay at the centers, they get to read, write, do a little math and engage in recreation activities. We are now encouraging children to go to the centers opened by Save the Children. I do not have to sit with the counts anymore. The kids do the calculations for me nowadays. In fact, these little children can now even calculate their own wages. Islam now gets one hour off from work to go to a Save the Children recreational center. Moshmi, like the rest of her family, works around 12 hours a day. She works in a jewelry factory in Lalbagh, Dhaka, making earrings. Like Islam, she takes one hour from her work to go to a Save the Children recreational and learning center. She loves painting and singing. <laughs> 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 
After an hour, Islam and Moshmi have to go back to work. Minara, who used to work, now has the time to study and play. Her family is one of the many that the Save the Children program was able to reach out to. Once we understood the potential benefit for Minara, we decided not to deprive her of an education anymore. There are also learning come recreational centers that stay open in the evenings, mainly for working children who can only come after work at the end of the day. Save the Children also provides basic health services to working children. Further, factory owners have made arrangements for first aid box, hygiene, and safe drinking water. One of the most important parts of the program is the children's forum, where the children are themselves empowered with the knowledge of what rights they are entitled to and how to demand these rights. The children's forum has dealt with issues such as work hazards, difficulties at work and access to education and recreation. Children will listen to children. The children's forum helps children discuss among themselves problems and issues in the workplace. The children's forums deal with local problems children face. Problems such as child marriage, dowry, working children, hazardous work, superstition, etc. I can feel and I hear from you in this room that you have the power to change your situation thanks to what you do together. Uh, sometimes I'm told about projects like that. This time I really met with you uh, and I didn't need any adult to tell me that it might be possible for young people to do this. You are role models for other young people as well. Save the Children UK has also started a series of preschools where children under five can come and spend time there, getting into the habit of going to school. It's nine o'clock at night. Minara is finishing her homework. Islam and Moshimi are both working late. Child labor is a gross violation of children's rights and represents a collective failure of the state and the society in protecting and nurturing children. Obviously, a lot more needs to be done, not just by us, but also by local communities, civil society, governments, and by the international aid community to address this issue. Save the Children has been working with around uh, 17,000 working children and has been striving hard to address this issue amidst the formidable challenges and against all odds. We however draw inspiration from the fact that these children are still holding on to their dreams. They haven't lost the spirit and that we are helping at least some of these children pursue their dreams. I would like to be a journalist. I'd like to own a factory so I can make a decent living. I'd like to be a doctor. I want to be skilled at work because I'll have to work to earn when I'm older anyway. I would like to be a police. I'd like to study. I'd like to get a good education and then work at an NGO which works for children. I want to be a theatre actress. We aspire for that day when little hands will no longer be toiling in workplaces. Uh, they will be playing with toys and turning the pages of books instead.